while the power does not turn on or off, plug the power. Yeah, like I don't have the power plugged, <laughs> the power cord. Okay, insert the playable disc. Yeah, right. Go, go, go down. Okay, here's what we were looking for. How do you reset the unit? Press and hold the power button for at least 5 seconds. Okay, now you may have noticed that this part is uh, a bit edited, but the phone actually rang, so <laughs> I had to go pick it up. Okay, this is where we are left. Hold the power button for 5 seconds. Okay, I've already done that like 10 times. The other option was unplug the unit for at least 5 seconds and then plug it back which again I've already done a couple of times but I'm just doing it again just to show you okay plug the unit back power on and whoa yay it's booting up how the heck did this happen now it's working is it yay here's the menu Ah, and here's an update found! But wait a minute, it's not connected to the internet! How the heck is this? <laughs> Isn't this ridiculous? I've not hooked up my BD570, you know, to the internet at this point, and the update notification shows up. Anyway, skip this for now. You can see the flickering issue again. Again. This happens every time I turn the unit on uh, connected to my television. But once I get to play any video file, the flickering goes away and never shows up until I turn the unit off and back on again. Okay, so it seems to be working with my television. But please note I just left it on there for maybe half a minute, not more. back to my projector connect the power cord HDMI optical and ethernet ethernet what's that Turn the device on and is it working now? Yep, it's working. There's the update notification. Sorry about that, the screen will brighten up in a few seconds. Okay, home link. No, let's try. Mm, let's try what? Let's try. Ah, the auto power. I just. Ah, uh, what the heck is this? <laughs> Did I do anything? Did I just do anything? I mean, the auto power off was on. That's uh, a function that turns the unit off if 30 minutes go by without you doing anything. And by anything, I mean not even watching a video or anything at all. Uh, so I thought, you know, maybe a couple of minutes went by and the unit turned itself off last time. So I'll turn this feature off for now. And as soon as I did that, or actually a couple seconds later so that's probably not at all connected with my messing with the auto power on or off function we get uh, the green screen again that's just fabulous LG yeah I personally have never seen anything at all, any type of device being this bugged in
in my life. Okay, unplug the power cord, plug it back in, turn the power on, hello. Will you boot this time? Well, doesn't seem likely. Nope. This is actually pretty funny. This is what I'm yelling at LG. You know, hello, hello, wake up. You got a faulty product here. You probably got a whole line of faulty products. Those BD5 series. Ah, this is a couple of minutes later. I unplugged the power cord and plugged it back in, and it magically worked. Well, why don't we just try downloading the update? Why don't we just do that? Perhaps it's a firmware issue. Maybe we can download the update and fix it. Okay, now I'm pausing my video camera for the download progress and once I turn it back on there's the green screen during the download process it wasn't even at 5% and it just you know froze up again now that was yesterday this footage is as of today morning uh, I thought I'd give it another shot right before I upload this video so okay that symbolizes that the drive has boot up properly I'm not going to try and download the firmware up update again because we just saw what happened so cancel that and let's just try and play the 1080p file over network that I shared yesterday Well, I'll turn the auto power off on again. Ah, here's the current version of the firmware, A31186C. Of course, there's a newer firmware, but it's quite questionable uh, whether I can actually install it or even download it at all with this PD570. now I know I may disappoint a few people waiting to see what will happen but uh, even though the original plan was to uh, hook up another one of my HDDs uh, on that USB port uh, of course I'd have backed it up first and see what happens well I know what would happen that this would get fried again um, you know seeing that this BD-570 doesn't even work properly I'm not going to attempt that. Sorry folks, try your own discs. I've had enough. I have three discs fried is more than plenty. Okay, here's uh, accessing the YouTube uh, feature, uh, playing a random video just for demonstration. This is uh, streaming live of uh, YouTube, you know, uh, it's connected to the internet and everything, well, is just fine. I mean, when these players operate properly then everything's fine but when they uh, burn your HDDs or uh, you know sew up uh, green screens or purple screens everything's not fine <laughs> to say the least okay you can also access in Picasa that's at least for my European model or Aku Weather I'm sure the US models have couple of features you know different and let's try to play that 1080p file I've actually backed up my blurry class of the Titans and here's what it looks like it's actually pretty fast loading the file about five seconds six seconds maybe and there's a the movie and there's the green screen once again 
two seconds into the movie. Not even that much. Not even that much. I mean, the previous BD-570 I had played through network properly. I mean, it had no issues other than the flickering issue with my TV, which was okay. And the serious, serious issue of frying my HDDs. But this one doesn't even function properly at all. It doesn't download the f new firmware green screen. Try to play a movie green screen. Try to do anything, try to do nothing green screen again. Anyway, so a few final words. Uh, this is the most the worst, the worst, the single worst device of all kinds I've ever seen in my life. Um, sorry, LG, but that's the truth. I believe you've all seen this video. I know many of you have players that are working properly. Many of you just like to, you know, put the Blu-ray disc inside and play. And I don't know even if mine is capable of doing that. I just, you know, played it for 20 or 30 seconds. Um, but the thing is that myself, a friend of mine who bought the BD-570 the same day and from the same store as me, has also a couple of fried discs. I know a couple of people of a uh, few forums having fried discs. And this unit, as you can see, just doesn't even operate normally. Okay, So please think twice before buying another LG product again. And you may also need to know that the LG customer care and service centers are some of the worst in the world. Well, that's it. Hope to view this video seriously enough.